I'm about to show you six really powerful Canva AI video features that'll help you make better videos faster in Canva. So if you haven't checked it out for a while, there's been some massive updates to Canva with AI features they've added in. But overall, the performance of using Canva, especially for video, is significantly increased too. But feature number one is the AI video background remover. So I've got a new project created here with a video in the timeline. If I select on the video clip here, then up the top here, we've got BG remover, background remover. You can see it does have the little crown there. So this is one that you will need to be on the pro version of Canva for, but that's also the case with most AI features in most tools these days. But you can see just how quick that was while I was blabbing on, the background was removed. And it's actually done a really good job too. So maybe let's bring in a background element. Let's just click this one here, six second clip, I'll scale it up. I'll put it behind our main camera shot. And let's just hit play on this. Sure and you can really see wants. that cutout is really well done. Now there is a little bit of blurring on the side here, so it's not perfect, but pretty amazing and so much faster and so much easier than a lot of other tools out there. And if I undo this and just go back to the original here, you'll see that it's not a clean background. There's a lot going on. So it's actually done a really good job of removing that background from here. Number two is the highlights generator. So you'd use this if you've got a longer form video clip and you want it to either repurpose or to create smaller clips from that longer form video. And there's a bunch of other tools that do this, Descript, Opus Clips, but it's awesome to have this inside of Canva too. So again, we've got our project here with our clip in the timeline. We wanna make sure our clip is selected and then we come up here to edit. And then we've got highlights here. This is another pro or paid feature, but if we press on this, it says hang tight while we organize and label the best moments from your video clip. Now, as with any of these tools, it's gonna to come down to the content that you're putting in there or the video file you're putting in there. But we can see already from this preview image, the sections that it thinks that we should keep from this long form video. So it's created these highlights for us. So it's 7.9 seconds here, 10 seconds, 13, all of these little chunks here of footage or new little clips for us. And then we can either select one or multiple of these and we can add a section to the design. So this is then created almost like sub projects or sub timelines inside of this main project, which we can access down here under grid view. We can see our main first edit there. We can see these extra two clips that I have just created, which obviously we can edit down, refine, add titles and all of that stuff too as well, all from within that one project. So let's say that we pick this clip here. We then have the ability to switch this to a portrait shape. So let's go videos and then we can choose mobile video, which is portrait. We can then either just resize or copy and resize. And then we can just set this up to how we want this short clip here to look. So we can scale this up so that it's full screen and center me up. And we now have that clip good to go. Number three is enhance voice. This is great for removing any wind or background noise from your video, or even just to make your microphone or your voice sound better, or even just to enhance how your audio sounds in a spoken piece like this, if maybe you didn't have the best microphone. And let's go ahead and play this. Guys, this is a test. There is lots of background noise here. And uh... there is lots of background noise, lots of wind, lots of surf noise. So with this clip selected here, we can then come up here to audio tools and you'll see here enhance voice again, a pro or paid feature. We can turn this on. The processing again happens really quickly. And let's go ahead and give this a listen now. This is a test. There is lots of background noise here and uh, a rainbow. We'll see how good this AI noise Amazing, so it's totally taken out the wind, the waves, and for something that is borderline unusable before, it's now definitely usable. Is it perfect? No, but it is so much better than the original. And again, this, is, this really is a worst case example here, shooting in a scenario like that. And that's with no microphone or anything. So we'll do another quick before and after, so you can see this again. Let's turn that off and let's play it. Guys, this is a test. There is lots of background noise here. And, and then we'll enable that again and hit play. This is a test. There is lots of background noise here. And uh, pretty amazing. The next tool is the AI built-in writer. Now you can use this for so much more than your video editing stuff. You can use this to generate content ideas and things as well, but you can easily access it at any time over here under text. And then we've got magic write. 
So it says here, describe your writing task five plus words. And there are some examples here. So a five point outline of an essay about the history of design, step-by-step -step explain how to grow a lemon tree, a motivating speech to a team of engineers building a rocket ship to Mars. So you can see this is very broad in terms of you could use this to create blog articles or Twitter posts or anything like that as well but you can also have it help you come up with video ideas, which then we can flow through into the next AI tool as well. So let's have a look at this one. So let's go write a voiceover script for an engaging YouTube short about how good Canva is for video editing. Let's hit generate. So not only has it written us a script here, as this goes through, you can see it's got prompts here for music fades out, the voiceover says this, there's different scenes. So from here, we can either take this and go and shoot and create this thing. We can regenerate this response or create more things like this with this button that says more things like this, or we can modify it. So this, but let's make some changes to it. So let's go this, but let's hit generate. So I've just got, I just want the script that could be used in a teleprompter. So from here, we could actually take that, go put it in a teleprompter and read that out if we wanted to create videos that way. But this flows perfectly into the next AI tool, which is where we will now use this, which is the AI voices. So I've copied this text, we can delete this text box here. But then what we wanna find on the left here is either audio or AI voice. So if you're not seeing AI voice, just click audio and it's up here, generate AI voice. And then we can paste that in there, or obviously here we could just type out whatever it is we want the AI voices to read out for us. And you can see that there are some built-in AI characters here or avatars that will read out whatever we've put in that box. So right now it's set to English UK, but you can see lots of different voices and accents and things in here too. So we've got English Australia and let's try Annie. Looking to create stunning videos without the hassle? Let's try Brandon. Looking to create stunning videos without the hassle? It's pretty good. Looking to create stunning videos without the hassle? But see these first two here, these are the premium ones. Uh, let's try Paul. Looking to create stunning videos without the hassle? Right, that one's pretty good too. So you would just pick your voice in here, hit generate voice, and that's going to add that into your project as an audio layer. As a narration, you can then create your video around. And feature number six is the AI generator inside of Canva. So for this one, there's a couple of different ways that we can access this. We can come to the magic media option here, and it says we can generate images, we can generate graphics, we can generate videos from here. And it is using Google's latest V3, at least at the time of recording this. So the results are actually really high quality and look amazing. So we can just type in what we'd like here, inspire me, wide orbit shot with slow tilt from bottom to top, showing the vast expanse of rolling sand dunes. Here's another one, a steady handheld shot of a group of puppies playing in a park, chasing each other, wagging their tails in even natural light. So then once we're happy with our prompt, and obviously we can add our own in there too, we would hit generate video. It says, grab your popcorn, a brand new video inspired by your scene is being generated. It should be ready in one to two minutes. So this is the first way that we can access this generation. And the way that we did it here through Magic Media, at least right now, this is generating from scratch. There's also the way that we can upload our own images and animate them, or we can actually animate the images that were generated in here too. So we now get to play this. I mean, that looks awesome. And then we can choose to use it by clicking on it. And that's then gonna show up in our project or we can generate again. And let's scale this up so that it's a bit bigger. And now let's hit play on this. Yeah, as far as AI video generators go right now, that's definitely a solid option. Let's try another one. A black sports car driving down the face of a massive wave in Tahiti. It's my go-to prompt. All right, here we go. Let's preview this, let's make it bigger. So we have a black sports car surfing a massive wave. Now, obviously when you're prompting, as with anything, we should give it so much more context. Could be photorealistic, it could be the type of camera or to make it look cinematic or slow motion or whatever. But you can see already just with a couple of examples here, this is pretty powerful. Now, so there's two ways to access this. If we close out of this project here, let's hit the X in the corner. Let's come back to the main Canva main screen. In here, we can go to Canva AI, and then we can choose here to create an image or create a video clip. So this is where it's going to start to help with your prompt generation and things here too. So we can choose the style of it. So cinematic, photorealistic, 3D render, we can choose the aspect ratio, so we want widescreen, or you can see here the portrait is coming soon. 
We can choose how long this goes for. As in right now, we can generate eight seconds, but custom duration again coming soon. We've got options here to help you with the framing, wide, tight, top down, and also lighting options as well. So this is gonna help you build out the prompt by it guiding you here with working out what you actually want. And this is where as well, where with these prompts, we can actually add our media here too. So any uploaded images or graphics or designs and stuff that we want to bring into this prompting to help generate something that's closer to what we actually want. And on this page as well, if you scroll down, you can see some great examples of what's actually been generated in here and the kinds of things that you can do. So if you're looking for inspiration and you're looking for the prompts that were used to generate these, then this is a great resource for that. And if at any time you wanna find out the latest AI tools that I am testing and playing around with, we've created a dedicated resource page just for that. That's also linked on screen and in the description box below, along with a lot of other resources to help you even further. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.